Cannoncini, also known as cream horns, is a classic Italian dessert. It is a puff pastry that is glazed with egg wash, dusted with sugar, and baked in the oven so the sugar is all caramelized. It's also filled with a lovely cream or custard. I'm going to share with you my special rendition as it has some of my favorite Asian flavors. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm Chef Sally Chu and I offer baking videos every week to help you level up your baking game. If you find value in this channel, consider subscribing. Now stay to the end of this video as I teach you all the tips and tricks on making this Asian-inspired classic dessert. I am using an invert puff pastry that I made previously for this cannoncini. Click on the link here to learn how to make your own invert puff pastry. You can also visit my video on how to make crispy caramelized pommiers. You can also click on the link here to learn how to make milfoy with chocolate and hazelnut praline buttercreams. Roll the dough into a rectangle. While rolling the dough, dust both sides of the dough with ground black sesame seeds. The sesame seeds will provide an aromatic nuttiness and depth to the pastry. Apply firm yet gentle pressure with the rolling pin while rolling out each corner. This will help to maintain the shape of the corners while rolling. When working with laminated dough, work in a cool environment. Rolling on a marble surface helps to keep the buttery layers of the puff pastry cold when rolling. Cut the pastry with a sharp knife or a rotary cutter such as a pizza cutter. Slice the dough into 8 even lengths. To form my cannoncini, I am using stainless steel cones, but if you do not have these available, you can create your own forms by using ice cream sugar cones wrapped in foil. The sugar cones wrapped in foil make a great substitute. They won't burn in the oven. In fact, they'll toast really nicely. So plan to have ice cream cones after you make this dessert. Lift the end of the dough and carefully wind it around the form, overlapping it slightly to make contact and to form a nice conical shape. Transfer the cones onto a lined baking tray and bake in a hot oven for approximately 20 minutes. Once baked, they will be beautiful and golden in color. They will smell amazing with the aroma of the black sesame seeds too. Cool the cones slightly and remove from the forms. While the cones are cooling, I am making a quick little sesame nougatine. Now, if you've been following along with any of my other videos, you'll know that I enjoy making caramels as well as nougatine as they provide a rich depth of flavor and brilliant layers of nutty and bittersweet notes to the recipes. Prepare dry caramel with the sugar. As the sugar begins to melt with the heat, add more sugar. Rotate the sugar in the pan until it becomes a nice rich caramel color. Add the sesame seeds and stir. Transfer onto a lined tray or sill pat and allow to cool. Set aside for later. Once the sesame nougatine is cooled, Break into pieces and place in a mini chopper or food processor to grind. Now that the cones are cooled, let's add an extra special layer to them. I'm coating the insides of the cones with chocolate. Melt dark chocolate and maintain at a working temperature of 35 to 40 degrees Celsius. I'm adding a neutral oil to the chocolate. Crystallizing the chocolate is not necessary this time as I'm adding oil to the chocolate. This will thin the consistency of the chocolate, making it easier to handle. Add some crushed sesame nougatine to the chocolate for a little extra crunch and flavor.
pour the fluid chocolate into the cones, making sure it is completely covered on the inside. Then tip out the excess chocolate. Dip the opening of the cone into the chocolate to decorate as well. The more chocolate, the better in this case. Leave the cones to set in the fridge while making the filling. Reserve the remaining chocolate for the filling. I'm going to prepare a caramel miso cream to fill the canoncini. Begin by preparing the caramel. I am demonstrating a wet caramel this time. Wet caramel method is different than dry caramel method as I am introducing a small amount of water to the sugar before the caramelization process. With the addition of water, the sugar molecules are exposed to the heat longer as the water evaporates. The caramelization is prolonged, allowing for the caramel to develop a richer flavor. Rotate the pan occasionally to move the sugar around to heat and to caramelize. Caramelize the sugar to a deep, dirty blonde color. Once the sugar is caramelized, add cream to the pan and stir. Add in a spoon of white miso paste. The miso provides a salty, rich umami flavor that adds a deep, savory note and richness to the caramel. This miso caramel is now done. It is dark and luxurious, and it's worth making as it's an elevated version of salted caramel. Try this caramel as a dessert sauce. It's perfect poured over ice cream or over baked apples, but we'll be using this to flavor our cream filling. Whip heavy cream to firm peak. Fold in the cooled caramel miso, followed by some of the leftover sesame chocolate to make a chocolatey rich caramel miso cream. This cream is so lush with the miso caramel as well as the bitter chocolate. The chocolate will also help to stiffen and stabilize this cream. This cream is delicious and just so you know, I like eating spoonfuls of it all on its own. Transfer the filling into a piping bag with a star piping tip. Pipe the cream into each of the cones. Garnish with a bit of leftover sesame nougatine to complete the look. These canoncini look terrific. They are sophisticated and absolutely delicious. Give this recipe a try as it's definitely worth making and eating. Thanks for staying to the end of this video. If you're interested in learning any other desserts, let me know in the comments. In the meantime, YouTube recommends this playlist and this video. Cheers.